Hey everybody. So today I want to talk to you about the Fabric Chain Code EVM. So the Fabric Chain Code EVM is a project within Hyperledger that attempts to ha um, install an EVM inside Hyperledger, uh, Hyperledger Fabric Peer, such that this EVM can run Solidity, Viper, and smart contracts that are written with Ethereum programming languages. So the main uh, motivation behind this is to allow developers that already have deployed smart contracts with Ethereum, Viper, or Solidity um, to run these on Hyperledger Fabric so that it gives the developer another um, vendor that they can they can actually host their code with. So whether that's with Hyperledger, Ethereum, some of the major cloud vendors. So it helps you kind of choose whatever vendor you want so you're not stuck into one ecosystem. So that's kind of one of the motivations. And also, um, this project has been implemented in Hyperledger Burrow, um, so and it is Apache 2.0, so we can you can use some of that code that's already been used in Burrow and use that for Hyperledger Fabric as well. So those are kind of some of the main motivations behind this this project. So what I want to show you today is how to take a um, your kind of your basic uh, simple smart contract that you can see on the Solidity docs. So how do we get this contract? Um, how do we use um, Remix, um, this IDE for Ethereum? And we basically will compile the smart contract and take the ABI um, and then also take the bytecode as well and run them on an Ethereum or run them on a Hyperledger Fabric peer that is running the EVM. So essentially, at the end of the day, we want, so after we, you know, you can we can check our Docker. And we can see that this up here has this EVM chain code installed. You can see that here, and you can see all of our, our all of our um, orderer, our peer, all of these um, these different peers that we have. You can see four different peers um, from peer one org two, um, peer one org one, peer zero org two, peer zero org one. So um, we have these four peers, and then we actually install and instantiate this EVM chain code. And then the last thing we want to do is we have this get and set method. So what we can do is we once we deploy the contract, we can actually use these methods that are that we defined. So we can use call set one two three, and then we can call get. So it's all since all this all this contract does is store these numbers, you can you can do that again. So we can say uh, nine nine nine, and we can get that number, and again we get. Um, 999 back. So that's what that's what I'll do. I'll show you how to run this Hello World smart contract on a uh, on Hyperledger Fabric, and I'll kind of go through the steps that you need to to do this. So um, yeah, let's go get let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so now that we're ready to get started, the first thing that we have to do is to set our Go path. Um, so essentially, what we need is uh, we need to be able to go into our um, CD users. And then go into your your username, and then from here, this is where your go go path should be, and all of your all of your source code should be in this path. So if you're going to go and then source, this is where all your code should be. So in here, I have a um, or GitHub and then Hyperledger, and then in here, this is where I keep all my contracts or my my code, my projects. So what you'll need to have for to run this demo and follow along with me is to install the um, install Go on your computer and to set the Go path. So I'll post a link of how to do that in the description so you can find that later. Um, so after that, you're going to have to go ahead and get clone these these projects. So you can go ahead and just Google Fabric Chain Code EVM and then Fabric Samples and you can go ahead and Google both of those and then get clone those. So I'm not going to show you how to do that, but uh, go ahead and clone them in this Hyperledger directory and make sure you have this uh, this kind of this path. So again, if you want to see my path, it, it should be something like you know users, your your username, and then go source GitHub and then Hyperledger, and this is where you want to keep your paths. Um, so again, I'll post a link for that in the description, and then once you have that set and once you've cloned your directories now it's um, it's time to actually go ahead and run the uh, run the script to have a local fabric network so if we go into our fabric samples and then go into first network um, we can go ahead and see that we have this uh, bring your first network script um, and this is where is this dun, 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 dun. yeah so um, we can go ahead and down 
So we if we use if we if we use this down, we will call the network down function. Network down. So we have this function, and then it you know it essentially removes all of these containers, remove dash rf, and then and then it removes these um, these different things. So that this is going to clear our network. So let's go ahead and do that. You don't really need to do this if you have if this is your first time, but since this isn't my first time, I want to go ahead and start with a clear, fresh network. Okay, so now that our, our network is clear, we can check Docker, um, and these are the the fabric that I have running uh, elsewhere. So we can go ahead and, and 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 start up our our network. So instead of down, we say up, and then this will actually create all the peers and orderers. Um, and then and then actually start our network, create a genesis block, and create a channel, and have these peers on uh, connected to the channel. So you can see channel my channel created. We're joining the peers to the channel. Um, and once this is all said and done, we can go ahead and install the EVM chain code onto the peer. Um, so just to kind of give you a little bit of background, so. Um, with this, with this EVM or with this project, essentially what they did is they created this um, this Fab Three, um, this Fab Fab Three project. So we can go ahead and check that out. Um, but essentially, in this Fab Three project, um, it if you go into main, you can see that it it essentially takes all of these. Uh, environmental variables so like the port um, what's the chain code ID what's the channel uh, and then it essentially um, it's going to create a fab 3 service um, so what that is gonna do is it's actually gonna implement the um, ethereum JSON RPC API um, so if we see that we you, we we send a transaction, we estimate the gas, we get the balance. So we so we implement all of these things that are needed um, to uh, to actually interact with an Ethereum network. So that's what essentially this um, this is doing is we're implementing this uh, Ethereum JSON RPC API and we're we're essentially connecting to that network, but we're using a Hyperledger Fabric peer. Um, and we're using, we're still using all the same consensus algorithm that um, Hyperledger Fabric has, which is very nice. Um, okay, so we've kind of looked in, into here. Um, you can see again Fab Three as well. Um, this is kind of the a little bit more uh, high high level, um, but this is kind of where all the the most of the logic is played out. Okay, so. First thing that we have to do, we can go into examples and into um, EVM smart contracts. This is kind of what I've been following to kind of get um, get accustomed. So the first thing we have to do is in is to mount the EVM chain code. So in our Docker Compose, we have to tell our CLI or our, or our peer where to look um, in order to find our um, EVM chain code. So we tell it to look in the fabric chain code EVM in our go path. And then after that, we we go ahead and run this uh, up and then we go and check the uh, the peer uh, Docker container and we go into the CLI. So we that's the next thing we have to do. Yeah, so that should work. And then now after we've done that, we have to go ahead and set some environmental variables. Um, so what we want to do is we have these environmental variables um, and then we essentially we just tell we tell the peer or we tell the uh, peer exactly where to find um, the the different certificates so we can say okay look into our 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 um, go path and then go into peer crypto and then to find our uh, membership service provider certificate. So that's the first thing we have to do. Um, essentially after that, um, we tell it to look at our localhost uh, 7051 port for the peer. Um, and then we take the say that the title of our lo local membership service provider is org1 MSP. And then the last thing we have to do is actually um, export the certificate um, yeah, 
and that's essentially it now we actually have to install the EVM chain code so you can see here we're installing the chain code on the peer and we're telling it to look up this um, exact folder so let's go ahead and do that it's gonna take a little bit of time okay so now we've gotten our 200 so we are ready to instantiate the chain code so what we can do now is we can grab this pure chain code instantiate command, um, put in our channel, and then put in the paths to our um, uh, public key. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so we see this pure chain code instantiate. We say the name of the chain code, and then we uh, give in the args, and then the we put in this certificate. And now we're essentially all good.